Can you believe March is over? The year is flying by and I don't really understand where all the time is going, but it's, it's, it's a bit crazy. Anyway, so this is my much favorite video and I'm going to start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room. This blonde, um, yeah, this blonde hair. This is actually a wig that I picked up when I was in London, the last time I was in London. It I got it from a shop in Upton Park. Um, let me see. I can't for the life of me remember what the shop is called. I actually just know where it is. This is the wig that I ended up getting. And it is by uh, Sensational. And it's the Instant Fashion Wig Couture. And the color is DR27. The style is Marilyn, 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 yeah, Marilyn. Oh, Maylene. The style is Maylene. It's not Marilyn. It's Maylene. Um, yeah. To be honest, I don't really highly recommend this wig because it sheds. It's thin. It's synthetic, and yeah. I mean, the colors great the color is great and the shape is great the cut is great I like it but it's not a long-term thing for for like less than 30 pounds it's really not a long-term thing anyway uh, it's more of like a tie me over hair until I figure out what to do kind of thing or like a I want to try a different style I want to try a different color type thing before you really dive into spending more money on bundles i don't know if you're into it then it's a great tie me over hairstyle so yeah i'll put the details on my blog um so that if you want to check that out um while i'm still talking about hair castor oil i have switched back to using this castor oil this is the naissance natural 100% natural castor oil I get this on Amazon I was using the Jamaican black castor oil by Sunny Isle or something one of those ones and to be honest I was paying so much more for the Jamaican black castor oil and I wasn't really seeing what it was doing better than the regular castor oil so I switched back to this one and it's it's great um, I put it on my edges um, every other night um, if I can remember to be honest and on my scalp twice a week I think it's great uh, for edges if your edges are already thin then um, this is a good it's castor oil in general is good for your edges moving on to skincare um, I have been using this Sukin hydrating facial mask but there are times when my skin feels quite dry and this usually kind of this usually fixes it pretty pretty quickly I also use this when I do skin peels overnight or uh, overnight treatments with glycolic acid I use this in the morning and it just adds all that goodness back into my skin and has me feeling great again so this stuff smells amazing it smells like um, mm, it smells like mango yeah there's mango seed butter in here so it smells like mango mostly it's really nice and creamy it's super thick and when you put it on it feels like a thick it feels like you're putting body butter on your face that's what it feels like but um yeah I really like it. it's really good stuff good stuff oh while we're on skincare the bio depot charcoal cleanser so the deal with this is I I actually got it a while ago and I used it used it used it and what I noticed was that my skin hasn't been like getting super oily uh, throughout the day since I started using this I know it sounds like um, 
sounds very gimmicky doesn't it <laughs> but I don't know what it is about this stuff when you put it on uh, and you're washing your face it feels really like minty and it feels really cooling and I don't know it's just it's just a really weird sensation you know this whole thing about charcoal drawing out impurities on your skin thing I don't know if I believe it but mm, I don't know if I believe it I think it's just kind of borrowed from you know um, use of charcoal as a detoxifier if you um, if you take something you shouldn't uh, so I don't know I don't know if it works in the same way on your skin but I I can't explain it but this does work for my skin and I have pretty oily skin so I really enjoy using this uh, moving on to makeup I've been wanting to talk about this product for the last couple of months but I haven't been able to because every time the video gets a bit long but the Maybelline Big Shot mascara this little beauty right here I found out about this because I follow makeup Shayla on Instagram and YouTube and stuff and she goes on and on and on about this and she actually uh, did a collaboration with Maybelline and had her own one um, but I saw these in Tesco and they were two for 12 pounds so I picked up two I think this is a great mascara it's affordable it's um, it does what it says plumps lengthens does the whole thing do you find it funny how guys have really long lashes like my brother has like wispy lashes and I see all these guys with like gorgeous full lashes and I'm like how is that even fair it's not fair man but anyway we soldier on this is a good mascara if I were to compare this with a higher end mascara I would put this in the same box as the Benefit Bad Girl Lash which is my favorite one of my favorites um, I think it does definitely have a similar wand it has more of like the more traditional um, wand which isn't too complicated last but not least is this lipstick that I'm wearing Um, this is by Sleek Makeup and it is in the shade Dare, which is number 791. So that's what it looks like. I just lined it with um, a brown lip liner, nothing fancy. It is matte, which is great because I love matte lipsticks. I'll show you what it looks like on my hand. So I decided to pick this up when I started noticing that I was running low on my favorite MAC lipstick which is the Viva Glam this is 3 or 4 yeah the Viva Glam 3 uh, which is also a matte lipstick and the color is really similar okay so this is the sleek and I'm gonna just swatch to to the left to the left I'm going to swatch this MAC one and I think I think personally I think they're quite similar the only difference is the MAC one is more on the mauve purpley side and this uh, sleek one is a little bit more red um, I think that's the best way to to describe them um, what else do I, do, you, do I need to say about this lipstick the color is great the pigment is great it applies really smooth it's not patchy it's not drying uh, but I always base my lipsticks with a lip oil or a lip balm so I don't really um, have too many issues it doesn't crack it reapplies really well if you need to um, it wears just as well as the MAC lipstick during the day um, uh, I think they're pretty comparable but I do feel like the MAC one is a little bit creamier and not as matte it has a more of a shiny satin finish than the sleek I think this is a bit more matte 
and that's it that's it uh, that's all I have to say uh, about my March favorites um, yeah uh, let me know if you've had products that you're really loving at the moment because um, I'm looking for things to try out in preparation for spring especially lipsticks so if you have a lipstick that you think is super fab so do let me know because i am on the lookout um yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching and until next time bye